the year began with the end of another. In August, we celebrated Results Day with our A-level and B-tech students and said goodbye to students starting their new adventure. September saw a new cohort of students join us and we held our Freshers' Fair to officially start the new year. The new signage was unveiled at Blackburn Sixth Form. And we welcomed former student and current Adidas Special designer, Gary Aspen. We celebrated three graduation ceremonies in October and welcomed back students from 2020 who were unable to graduate because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The new redeveloped Blackburn Sixth Form was officially opened as part of National Colleges Week. During November, Blackburn College became the driving force behind a new 1.3 million motor vehicle project which will bridge the skills gap in low carbon vehicle mechanics. As we approached the Christmas break, Blackburn College's information and guidance services were credited to the Matrix Standard because of the high quality careers, welfare and student finance support we provide to students across Lancashire. Students of Blackburn University Centre had a glimpse into their future career options at the University Centre's Early Childhood Studies Symposium. We returned for the start of a new calendar year with the news that Morgan Grimshaw had been offered a place to study law at the University of Oxford. Fifteen local businesses visited the college after completing a collaborative training programme in order to support the drive towards a more inclusive and diverse workforce. Law degree students Rowan Quinn and Elliot Gribble competed in the Essex Court Chambers National Mooting Competition. In February, carpenter and joinery students were tasked with transforming a space within the college's construction centre into a new workshop. Students celebrated their GCSE exam results and what a day it was. These were the first GCSE examinations in two years. March saw 50 attendees take part in the heat pump installation breakfast event and the launch of Blackburn College's Trade Centre. Level 1 and 2 art and design students had their work exhibited at the Bureau in Blackburn. And the college celebrated International Women's Day and had an event where business women from across the Northwest joined at Scholar's Restaurant. And drumroll, Blackburn College was awarded good in all areas by Ofsted after our January inspection. April started with a visit from the Department for Education who were given the first look at Blackburn College's new hybrid electric automotive training facility. Representatives from garages across East Lancashire were also given an insight into the latest automotive technology at our brand new heat facility. Matthew Winstone was named as Construction and Manufacturing Apprentice of the Year at the 2022 Lancashire Apprenticeship Awards. We received a generous donation from GE Robinson, who donated timber to our construction department. Level 3 Early Years students held a Disney-themed day as part of their fundraising efforts for Darien House Children's Hospice. Mental Health Awareness Week was held in May and Blackburn University Centre Students' Union Equality and Disabilities Officer Steve Griffin organised two pop-up barber shops to raise money for the Lions Barber Collective. Adam Green and Ifat Jabeen reached the national rounds of two apprenticeship-based competitions. Students had a lesson in what it was like to work in a royal household and our University Centre Education Studies course was successfully relaunched by Lancaster University. The college held a culture day with music, food and dancing surrounding campus for the day. Meanwhile, a group of entrepreneurs from Blackburn University Centre reached the national finals of Young Enterprise with their Easy Seat product. In June, Public services students experienced a military mess dinner with catering and hospitality students helping to create and serve. The National Festival of Making saw the launch of our HE Art and Design degree show with lots of Blackburn College activities taking place across the festival weekend. Our FE Art and Design show took place at the Beacon Centre. Apprentice Joanne Harris was named as the Non-Clinical Apprentice of the Year at the Lancashire and South Cumbria NHS Health and Care Apprenticeship Awards. July saw the end of a fantastic year, with summer on the horizon. Last night, we hosted our FE Star Awards, and this afternoon, we're finishing off the year by celebrating you, the staff at Blackburn College. <laughs>